Welcome everyone, I am Talk Custom, and on today's video we are going to show you how to use a serger or a overlock machine. Uh, this is the Singer Pro Finish, which is an excellent entry level serger. Um, a serger basically just overlocks a bunch of stitches over the raw edge of a seam and adds a nice high quality finish to your seams. Uh, the primary reason for getting one of these is if you plan to start selling your garments or your creations or if you just want to take your hobby to the next level. So I'm going to show you how to set this up and how to thread it and then we're going to do a couple of tests and a little demo on how to use this machine. Now out of the box your machine will look something like this without all the stickers on it and you just need to put your foot pedal below and plug in the plug and then we are just going to set this in here and your on off switch is right next to that. Now we need four cones of an overlock thread, so I've just got some black here. Uh, and then we are going to lift up the thread harness in the back, and then we're gonna set our cones in place. All right, now we're gonna take the thread from each cone and we're gonna feed it through the back and out the front of each of these little loops here. After all of your threads are pulled through this uh, little top rack here, um, we need to set each of these into these little metal brackets in the back of your machine and then pull them through each channel. So I'm going to do a close-up of just doing one of them and you guys can do the rest. All right, so this is the cone on my left and what I'm going to do is take this thread, hold it in my left fingers and I'm going to pull it sideways to the right and then I'm going to feed it behind that metal tooth, pull it up and then feed it down the channel with my right hand. Um, now do that for the other three threads and then we will get ready to thread this right now. All right, now we need to understand that they've assigned colors to each of the cones on our serger here. So it goes blue, green, red, orange. And that's gonna help us with our order on how we thread this. All right, now on the front of your serger, you can kind of slide this big panel here to the right and then it's going to fold down and when you get there you're going to want to look at this diagram here all right so now we're looking at the threading diagram which is just a sticker right on the inside of your machine here um, so what we need to do is follow the order so it wants us to do the red thread first and then the yellow and then green and then blue um, so that corresponds with the cones just like we showed you all right, so according to our chart, uh, the first thread that we're gonna do is the red thread. So I'm gonna grab my red thread, and the first thing it wants me to do is lock it behind this prong right here. Let me zoom in. Okay, now we're gonna go straight down to the first red dot, which is this little prong here. So we're gonna go through there, go straight left underneath this loop. We're gonna go straight up through that loop. Okay, so after our third loop, what it wants us to do is take the end of our thread and we're gonna go right through the eye of this needle right here. And I'm gonna grab this thread from behind. All right, so I'm gonna grab this thread from behind and we're gonna go right up onto the top. So I just got the thread laying right up on the plate here. Now when I'm pulling this through, I want to make sure it doesn't get caught on any of the other machinery here. So I'm going to kind of feed it through carefully. All right, so now I can see my thread is going down through this, through this loop, through the third loop, through the eye of that, and then straight up and out the back. All right, now our second thread is the yellow thread. So we're gonna do the same thing where I come down. We're gonna go behind the metal prong behind that. And then let me zoom in quick. And before I do this, I'm gonna reposition my machine. So I'm gonna turn the wheel towards me so that this prong here is as far out as it can be. Now I'm gonna grab my thread and we're gonna go straight down. All the way to the bottom is the first yellow loop. So we're gonna go through that. Straight left is the second. And then there's the third one right next to it. And now all the way left, there's a fourth yellow loop there. Okay, so after the fourth yellow loop, what it wants us to do is take our thread and I'm going to put it just behind this prong here. 
Okay. And I'm going to pull this tight. So what you're going to see is, let me move this a little bit. The thread is going to go behind this pin, over the top, and then towards me. Okay. So all the way on the left side of this pin is a little groove. And we want to get the thread into that groove. So I'm going to just grab this with the tip of my pliers here all the way left till it snaps into that groove okay so now what we have to do is kind of feed this towards ourselves. I'm gonna take the head of our thread here and we're gonna feed it through the eye of this needle right here okay so I'm gonna grab it from the back of the eye of that and I'm gonna go right over the top right in this little V here okay So as I'm feeding this through, I'm going to be careful not to let it snag on any of these other loops here. Okay. Now, when I pull this tight, you should see the thread. There's a little channel right on this pin right here, and the thread should go all the way from the left, all the way through the channel, through the eye of that needle up and over this metal piece here and then straight out the back okay doing this yellow thread is the hardest part um, but if you can get through that the rest is easy all right so the next thread is our green thread so i'm going to grab our green thread and we're going to come down and go through this channel here and then through this second metal channel and then all the way up top is a green dot so we're going to go all the way above and then we're going to come straight down all right, so as I'm coming down from that top channel, uh, we're gonna be going through the needle on the right. Uh, but before we go through the needle, there's a little spring right where the letter A is here. So I'm gonna go behind the spring, wrap it around and through that loop. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab the head of this thread. And we're gonna go through the eye of the needle on the right. Okay. So I'm gonna do that. Grab it from behind. We're going to pull that all the way through. And if you can, try to make sure it goes underneath this little metal guide right here. Okay. Okay, so our last thread is the blue thread. So I'm going to run this through the channel and we're going to come down through this first channel here. Now we're going to go on the lower end of this is where the blue dot is. And then let me zoom in one more time. Okay, and as I run this down the channel, we're gonna be going to the needle on the left. So right where the letter B is, we're gonna go behind the spring, down the loop, and then we're gonna thread the needle on the left. Okay, just pull it out the back. And again, if you can get that thread underneath the metal guide there, that helps a lot. All right, now I'm going to close the front plate. So just slide that back. Now, what I want to do is make sure I can grab all four threads from the back. And I'm going to kind of pull these. You should be able to pull all of them. Now, I'm going to lower the presser foot. And holding on to all four of those threads, I'm going to very slowly start to run my machine. Okay, so as I run this, it should look just like that. So if you can see the way the pattern of the thread is, it, it should make a little thread chain. Now that's all four threads going into each other perfectly. That's what you want to see. All right, if you don't see that perfect thread chain that we just came up with, usually it's a problem with either this prong here with the thread not going through the eye of this, or it's the thread is not going through this prong here. Um, if, if the thread got pinched or it broke or something like that, that's usually what happens. And then I'll just start over from the beginning, go in order, and make sure that I do it the right way. Again, once your machine is operating normally, it should look something like that. All right, now I'm going to run some fabric through this so you can see how it looks when we end up surging fabric. 
All right, so I'm gonna do a quick demo. Um, so this is just two pieces of raw denim. I'm not gonna pin it. Never put pins in fabric when you're using a serger. Uh, but I'm gonna lift up the foot and just kind of set that in there. So this piece of metal right here is a blade and it's gonna trim our fabric and our seam while it's overlocking it. So it's got a nice, perfectly clean uh, polish to it. So as I run this, it's gonna start trimming off the fabric on the right here. So that's what all of this is over here. And then that's just gonna get thrown in the garbage. Um, but I can run that as long as I need to. And then when I'm ready, uh, I can pull my fabric to the left here and it's gonna run off. Now I wanna keep this thread tail intact so my machine doesn't jam. So I'm gonna trim this right on the fabric. And the way this is gonna look is a nice clean overlocked edge here, which looks really good. And the back is a little messy cause I don't have my thread tension uh, perfectly aligned to denim. But for the most part, this looks pretty good. Uh, every time I make a pair of pants or a button down shirt or anything like that, I always serge the inside of my seams so that the inside of my clothes look nice and polished. I wanted to point out really quickly that we did the four thread configuration for this machine, but it also does two different variations of three thread surges, which are just some different techniques that look different for doing t-shirts and other knits and stuff like that. So feel free to play around with that. But the four thread is the most comprehensive and I use it for pretty much everything. All right, you guys, so that is the basics for how to thread and use this serger. Um, the cool thing is that these threads last for a really long time, so you shouldn't have to re-thread this for a while. I really hope you guys didn't get too frustrated if you didn't get this on your first try. This is not easy to do, so don't feel bad if you didn't get this right away. I had to practice this at least 20 times when I first got this machine, but once I got it, I started making some really cool stuff with it. All right, as a quick example, I just wanted to show, this is a pair of jeans I just made. Uh, the inside pocket and the inside fly facing and all the seams on the inside are nice and surged. So I'm not gonna get any frayed threads and it's gonna keep these pants nice and strong for a really long period of time. Now on the outside of these pants, you can't see any of the serge seams, but as I open these, uh, there's tons of overlock seams all over the place, which look really cool. All right, everyone, hopefully you guys got this working very easily. Uh, when I was brand new at surging, I had a ton of problems, but once I got it figured out, I started making some really high quality clothes and some really cool projects. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Uh, please let me know uh, any other videos that you guys would like to see also. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.